is Rob Wires at the Drink Tech in Munich, and I'm here with Thomas Sundergaard from DuPont. And DuPont are launching a new um, enzyme to maximize beer flow. Um, Thomas, what, how, how does this meet the trends of today, and, how, and what's, um, how does this enzyme function? Actually, I can say that uh, it's a quite new enzyme which we has been working on in the last three years. Uh, the enzyme is a combination of different uh, with different activities. Mm -hmm. So you can say that this enzyme has uh, a very specific activity against beta glycanases, beta glycan, and uh, and silane. So so we do have an enzyme which is very selective and very specific specific against these two components which are in, in, in malt and, and barley. Why is it important to deal with these issues? It is uh, very important because uh, when you work as a brewer, when you work in the industry, then it's very important that uh, you have a very good mash separation and you also do have a very good beer filtration. So this enzymes will offer this uh, solution for, for the beer industry. Can you give a bit of technical details about the how this functions and the enzyme itself? Uh, I, I would say that uh, when we uh, look at the enzyme uh, and, and do some, uh, some tests in, in, in lab and also in, in production scale, we can see that filtration is performing, performing better, uh, both in the brew house and also in beer filtration. So you actually get a more, you can say, a rubber solution where you have a good output from your production. Are there particular beers it's suitable for? Or is it suitable it across the brewing on, industry? It, it will work on, uh, on, uh, on all kinds of beers, uh, which we know, uh, which contain uh, malt, uh, which contain barley in different ranges. So, so that will work on these solutions. And how does it compare to current enzymes that are on the market for doing the same kind of function? Or? Uh, we can see that uh, we have tested against uh, other uh, enzymes in the market and, and, and we can see that uh, we are performing at least one-to-one -one with uh, other products in the market. And we do see also some other advantages that it's a very ro robust solution which is able to degrade these glycan uh, to a very low level. When can we expect to be this uh, product to be used commercially? You can say that uh, right now it's already commercial. We are going to launch it tomorrow uh, and, and uh, we are doing testing in the moment already. Thomas, thank you very much.